Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this website using ReactJS and Sanity.io. And in the previous video, I showed you how to connect the frontend to our Sanity.io backend. So here we can see we are getting this uh, title from Sanity.io. Now in this video, we will replace all this data from the data from Sanity.io. So right now it is just hard coded into our React component. But in this video, we will see how to get this data from these uh, posts over here inside Sanity.io and we'll also get the data of the testimonials from Sanity.io. So we will do all of that in this video. Let's get started. Right here, I'm in the app.jsx file and this is where we have tested our code and here we can see we are getting this title from the backend. So now we need to remove all this code from here and we need to add them to the blog and the testimonial components. So let's go ahead and delete this h1 from here. Now we can see that the h1 is not being displayed over here. Right, we also need to remove this code from here, but we need to have the same code in the blog component. So I'll just cut this from here. So I'll just press command X. And now let's go back to the blog component. Let's go over here to components and let's go to blog and blog.jsx. And here let's go to the top of the component code and here just before the return i just paste the code now we also need to import use state and use effect from react so let's go back to app.jsx file and i'll just copy this line of code and let's paste it over here instead of this line of code and we also need to import the client so here we can see we are importing the client so here let's type import client from client now, since the client is outside the blog and the components folder, we are having this dot dot forward slash two times. Right now, let's go to the app.jsx file and we can just remove this from here. And we can also remove the import client from here. Now, here in the blog.jsx file, we're going to use map inside JavaScript to generate all this uh, code. So here we can see inside the content container, we have a division with the class of post. And then we have this division for the tag and then we have the image and the title. So let's go ahead and delete these two posts from here. And we'll just have one post. So this is the post. So if you go back to our website, here we can see we have this one post. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to loop through all the items inside this uh, posts where we are getting all the posts using this query right here. So here inside the content container, let's go ahead and uh, type some JavaScript code. So let's type posts dot map. Now for the single items inside the posts array, I'll just call it post. So I just type post and we will return some HTML code. So here I'll just type open parenthesis. So this is basically a callback function and we are directly returning this HTML. So let's cut this ending elements from here and let's paste it over here just after the division with the class name of post. Now, since there are three posts in our posts array, if you go back to our website, here we can see three times we have the code executed. Now, let's go ahead and replace all this hard-coded data with the data from Sanity.io. So, for the first one, let's go ahead and uh, type some JavaScript code. So, I'll just type curly braces. And here, let's type post dot. And if you go back to the server folder and if you go to posts, here we can see we have a field with the name of label. And then we also have thumbnail and title. So we need to get all this data. So let's go back. And here let's type post.label. And the next thing we need to do is get the URL of the image. So for that we also need to import URL4 from client.js. So here we can see we are exporting this URL4. So we're going to use this for getting the URL of the image. So let's go back and uh, here let's type URL4 and client. And here we will use uh, URL4. And here let's type post.thumbnail. And then lastly, we need to get the title. So here let's type curly braces post.title. Right now, if you go back to our website, here we can see we have all the posts displayed over here. So these posts are coming from the Sanity.io data. So if I just go over here and if I just change something, so I'll just change the title to updated. And if I publish this, and now if we go back to our website and uh, if I refresh this page, here we can see now it says updated. 
so the data that we are getting is from sanity io so I'll just go ahead and set it back to the default right now let's do the same for the testimonials so let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to the testimonials.jsx file and here we'll just remove all these other testimonials so let's keep one testimonial over here and now let's go back to the blog.jsx file and let's copy some of these imports from here so we can also remove these imports from here so we don't need these blog images so let's go ahead and delete this import statement from here and we can also remove the blog1, blog2 and blog3 from the assets folder over here right now let's go ahead and copy these two lines of code from here and we need to add that to the testimonial section so I'll just add it over here now we can remove these three testimonial images from here because we're going to get that from sanity.io and we can also delete that from the assets folder so here we have these three images you can just delete them right now let's go back to the blog.jsx file and let's copy this code from here and let's go back to the testimonials.jsx file and I'll just paste the code over here and here instead of post I'll just tap testimonials and here I'll just tap set testimonials here for the query I'll just tap type equals testimonials so if you go back to the server and if you go to the testimonials.js file here we can see we have named it testimonials and in the testimonials we have image name and company and also message so let's get these data let's go back to the testimonials.jsx file and here instead of set post we need to type set testimonials right now here inside the content container let's use javascript map let's type curly braces and uh, we have this array called testimonials so let's type testimonials dot map and for each of the single testimonial I'll just call it testimonial and we'll just return the HTML so let's type equals greater than and uh, open parenthesis and let's copy these ending brackets from here and I'll just paste it over here right now let's go ahead and change the details so here instead of the image testimonial 1 we need to change this to URL 4 and testimonial dot image and for the name let's go ahead and type curly braces testimonial dot name and for the company name let's type curly braces testimonial dot company and then we have message so here instead of this message let's type testimonial dot message right now if you go back to our website and if you scroll down here we can see all the testimonials are displayed over here and all this data is being fetched from sanity.io now here we can see there are three testimonials and three blog posts but if you have more than three blog posts or testimonials they will also be displayed over here so when we fetch the data from sanity.io we also need to limit it so if you go to the sanity.io cheat sheet here we have all the query cheat sheet so you can just go to this link over here and if you scroll down here we have slice operations and here we can see we have type equals movie and if you type 0 only the first item will be fetched and if you type 0 dot dot 5 then the first 6 items will be fetched so in our case we need to get the first 3 items so we need to type 0 dot dot 2 so let's go back and uh, first of all let's test whether it is working so let's type 0 dot dot 1 and let's see whether only two testimonials are displayed so let's go back and let's go to our website and if you scroll down we can see that only two testimonials are displayed over here so we can just type 0.2 and now if you go back here we can see there are three testimonials so in the same way let's go ahead and do for the posts so let's go to the blog.jsx file and uh, here let's type 0.2 and now let's go back to our website and everything looks all right so with that we have completed designing our website using react.js and sanity.io alright so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day